She's famous for that, yes, to make people fearless. It is true also, when I did not practice this quaning method yet, but I was already eating vegetarian, except the, the sour milk. I, I don't have any other thing, yes. Uh, I cook for myself and I make my own uh, gluten stuff and cook myself stuff. <laughs> and uh, one time my uh, former husband yeah, uh, drove me somewhere far away from our home. In the middle, there was some slippery ice on the road. It's winter. And then the car just rear so fast and zigzag that I wasn't fearful at all. At that time, I always trusted Kwan Yin Bodhisattva. I even brought her statue uh, to Europe, a small one yeah, at that time, and always prayed to her. Yeah. And then uh, I did not even have any master or teacher or anything. I was a like Buddhist scout <laughs> and here, sometime here, sometime there, a little bit here and there. And they say, you recite Bodhisattva, Kuan Yin, and everything. She will help you if you're in trouble. So I do that. Yeah. Ever since a uh, teenage, I listened to that and I did that. And when the car was severing fanatically, I just put my hand on his chest. I said, don't worry, Kuan Yin Bodhisattva will save you. I say that, it's just like I'm talking to you now without any panic. I panic no more now than when the car was <laughs> swearing like that and then fell into the ditch. Yeah. But then we fell into the ditch next to a farmhouse. <laughs> Finally, the car stopped. I fell into a small ditch next to a farmhouse. So we went into the farmhouse and he said, in the morning I will fish your car out. He has a crane. <laughs> and we overnight there, have warm tea, warm meal, and in the morning, the car is on the road, driving. It's not the point. The point is that I was fearless. I didn't feel any panic or worry at all. I had absolute confidence that nothing will happen. It's like that. And I put up my arm and hand on his chest. Said, Don't worry. Kwan Yin Bodhisattva will help us. We'll save you. <laughs> it's my own experience. Because uh, normally, in that case, you would feel very scared. You, know? you don't even remember yourself not to talk about Kwan Yin Bodhisattva. Yeah. But I was, I guess, mostly calm in that kind of situation. Like one time, I go together with many people on a big bus, yeah? and then there was a landslide, stone all over, stone falling big and small all over on the bus, keep falling. And everybody panic and want to open and jump out. I said, don't. Remember, where is your master? Remember your master. <laughs> Pray to your masters. I was very calm. I tell everybody, don't go out, you die. Remember, where is your master? Pray to your master. And they pray. And then suddenly the landslide stopped right in front of us. And we all climb out. Everybody tells himself, oh, he's uh, still alive and thanking me no end. <laughs> because. These people, they all have master in India, you know, different master. And they also have Dalai Lama or whomever they trusted. And they forgot. At that time, they all forgot about their master, not to talk about Kwan Yin Pusa, Kwan Yin Bodhisattva, which they don't even see. <laughs> <laughs> so I reminded them, and then it calmed down right away. Yeah. There's some, some stone just falling, middle, middle, and stop. <laughs> it's, it's very funny.